everybody brainiac productions here and got another unboxing video you ever wish they were different colors yeah it's been that heavy neither no it's like sit just came with the typical echo thing saw wrench warranty stuff and an owner's manual but yeah pretty nice saw i've already ordered up some things got some so that'll come in another video just the basic stuff try to make the saw run better and try to do a little bit of some porting have to get the filter kit some gearhead performance and I did get a flywheel advance key, also the wall burl jet. It's nice to have a 60cc saw. Yeah, I really like the saw. The construction on it is pretty, pretty solid. Yeah, for what you pay for, you can't really go wrong. I was gonna get a 620, should have bought the 620, but I always tend to do impulsive things. VP racing, container, so. Choking. Just give me some breaking time on the saw, and then I'll take it from there. I really like the bar and chain setup. Run it. Cause it's a brand new chain but man that thing is nice i don't want to touch the dirt with it huh? i want to go out and do some real work with it but i'll just hold off <laughs>
were saying, Chad, why are you running such a tiny bar on the damn thing? And it's, uh, it's came down to what I had. I had a really nice bar that would fit on it really good. I was just going to hang this bar on my wall, but I said, what the hell? It's, it's there. I have it. They had chains in stock, so I just bought a chain and made my dream a reality. All right. What are my thoughts on the saw? I don't, the saw was really nice. It seems pretty powerful. It's 60 cc, so what do you expect, you know? Nice chain, nice bar setup. I'm really happy with the saw, you know, I really like Echo saws personally. I think they're very underrated. I mean, the cost is very little and the results are pretty good. So for now, we'll just keep running it break it in and um, go from there and I do have a gearhead performance air filter kit coming so on it this is a nice bar and I'll just put it up on the wall or something great construction on this saw okay from the factory it makes 3.9 horsepower give or take depending on your exact saw it could be a little bit more it could be a little bit less they they tend to not run exactly the same. That's just average numbers. Seen on Dino Joe's buyer beware video, CS590. Basically, he just swaps the gearhead performance, exhaust, deflector, timing key, about 5.2 horses, maybe a little bit more. The CS620 is rated at 4.4 horses, though, from the factory. So. With all that said, to have a saw that's five horses, let's say that's what this becomes with just putting all that stuff on there. The muffler mod, earhead performance, timing advance, that's pretty good. You know, I think personally, but I guess, what do you guys think? I will be porting this, just try to make more power, you know, but give it some time to break in. I'm not sure if I should get a metal grab bar. What do you guys think? I would like some opinions here. Um, do you think the plastic grab bar is adequate enough? I really personally prefer aluminum bars, but that's just me. Do you guys think it's a waste of money?